Robins are red, lizards are blue, parrots are green, what about you? A new exhibit opens this week at the Harvard Museum of Natural History about the science of color. With vibrant displays, visuals, and photos, it's bound to answer all the questions you have about color in nature. The first being, how is color used? Evolutionary biologists believe that color is all about survival. Creatures who blend into their environment, like this leaf bug, have a much greater chance of avoiding predators than, say, a peacock. Although the bird does look fancy for a reason, attracting mates is just as important as not being eaten. The second question the exhibit answers is how is color perceived? A flower may look yellow to you and me, but for a bee, it is a brilliant blue. Humans and primates are one of only a few animals who can see oranges and reds. The third question is how is color made? And the answer is all in your genes. My dark hair, for instance, reveals that I have a protein called eumelanin, which is only found in people with black or brown hair. Others with blonde or red hair have a completely different protein. Other animals have similar genetic differences, but not all use the same proteins to make their pigments. Even scientists were surprised to discover that evolution finds the best color for an animal's survival through many different genes. For Science Metropolis, I'm Joseph Caputo.